Hello, I am Miss Robinson, the principal of the Union 8th Grade Center. I am looking forward to meeting all of you when you come to our building next year. In just a few minutes, our counselors, Mrs. Haddon and Mrs. McKeithen, will be sharing valuable enrollment information with you. It is important that you listen carefully to what they have to say. Please make sure you take the enrollment booklet and enrollment form home with you and discuss it with your parents. If you have questions, you or your parents can talk to a 7th or 8th grade counselor. We will be hosting an information session for students and parents on Tuesday, March the 5th at 6.30 p.m. at the 8th grade center. Enrollment forms will be due back on Friday, March the 8th. I also wanted to remind you that in April you will be taking your state OCCT tests in geography, reading, and math. Please do your best on these tests. Students who do not make a proficient score on their 7th grade test must be provided remediation at the 8th grade center. This could mean losing an elective. I hope you have a wonderful finish to your 7th grade year. And once again, I am looking forward to having you as a student at the 8th grade center. Thank you for your time. Hello class of 2018. My name is Ms. Haddon. I am the counselor for the student's last name beginning with A through K. I will be your counselor in the 8th and 9th grade. At this time, I'm going to ask you to take out your course offering book and write your name at the top. It's very important that you keep your name at the top of the course offering book. We only have one per student. Now, if you will look at page number four, we're the eighth grade center planning guide. Okay, number one is all the students are required to take six classes each day and all students participating in any state sanctioned activity must remain a passing grade in all classes. That's your eligibility for any type of activity that you would need to do for eligibility purposes. If you'll look on page five, I want you to please take this home and read over with your parents the ACE graduation checklist. This is the Oklahoma College Preparatory Work Ready Curriculum Standards from the Achieving Class Room Excellence Class Act of 2005. It's very important that you look this over for your graduation checklist. If you'll turn to page six, the eighth grade center curricular offerings. If you will see in the language arts part, you have an English and advanced English. Each time it says a prerequisite, that means it is you have to have something before you can take that class. A course that requires a strong commitment of time and effort as well as a desire to do the advanced work. That's your language arts. You have to have uh, one class of English. The next one is social studies. It's the United States history. If you'll turn to the next page on page seven, the, uh, we have math. I want to go over a little bit about the math classes. For those who are in advanced classes, you probably know that you have to test into the advanced classes. And your prerequisite is that you have to have a score of 75 to 87 on the Orleans Hanna Algebra Prognosis Test or Advanced Performance on the 7th grade 3rd quarter district CRT. That is for the advanced pre-algebra. The Algebra 1, you have to have a score of 88 or higher. If you desire to retest and did not make that 88 score, there will be what they call a second chance test in May, and your math instructors will have that information for you in May. Geometry, the course, you have to have an 80% or higher in the seventh grade Algebra 1, and that is for the high school credit along with the Algebra 1 AP emphasis. Turn uh, to the next page, which is page 8, General Science and Advanced General Science. Same as the advanced, you need to have a, a prerequisite to that. Now let's talk a little bit about the elective courses. You get to choose two elective courses. And it's strongly recommend that all eighth grade students enroll in Fundamentals of Technology or a Foreign Language course for high school credit. You will need at least two years of the computer uh, business courses and or two years of a foreign language to graduate to have a diploma. The foreign language needs to be two years of the same language. You cannot take one language, uh, one year of French and one of Spanish. It needs to be French one, French two, or Spanish one, Spanish two. If you'll turn to the next page, it talks about some of the other elective courses that we have. 
And also the page 10, it gives you some more um, selections. And remember, if it's teacher approved, you need to have a teacher approval of teaching that elective. As you can see, we have quite a few elective courses, but the most important is on page 12. Now, the principal of the eighth grade center went over about your test scores of uh, meeting the uh, prerequisites of a principal recommendation for the math lab and the reading lab. It's very important that when you start the state testing that you do the best you can because we do want you to have your elective of choice. But if the test scores are not adequate, we will ask that we take away one of your electives to be in a reading or math lab to, for you to be successful at the eighth grade and throughout your education career. If you have any questions, you can have it, some of the counselors at the seventh grade center or the eighth grade center would be glad to help you. Thank you for your time and now I'm going to turn this over to Mrs. McKeithen, the other eighth grade counselor. Hi, class of 2018. My name is Mrs. Jan McKeithen. I will be the counselor next year for students whose last names begin with L through Z. Mrs. Haddon just went through the information on our course offering booklet, and now I will go over the pre-enrollment form with you so that you will know how to fill it out. The first thing that I would like you to do is to write your name at the top of the blue pre-enrollment form and also write down your science teacher's name. If you lose your form and someone finds it, then that person will know to turn it into your science teacher. We do not have enough of the pre-enrollment forms to give each of you another copy, so please, please take care of this form. Next, please write uh, this on your blue form underneath your science teacher's name, return by March 8th. This means that you will return this completed form to your science teacher by March 8th. Please do not fill in the rest of this form today. You need to take it home and go over it with your parents, consider what is best for you, and then fill it in. The first area on this form that I want you to look at is a list of core courses. Every eighth grader will be enrolled in an English course, a US history course, and a general science course. You may choose either the regular or the advanced course by putting a check on the line in front of the course name. If you choose the advanced course, you and your parent must sign the course agreement, which is found on the back side of this blue enrollment form. Turn your form over to find the course agreement. You can see that there is a course agreement for each of our advanced courses. Remember, if you come to the computer lab and expect to enroll in an advanced course, but the agreement is not signed by you and your parent, you will not be able to enroll in that course. You will have to take the enrollment form home again to get the signature. Now let's look at the math selections. If you are in Math 7 this year, your eighth grade math course will be pre-algebra, so you would put a check on the line in front of that course. If you are in pre-algebra or Algebra 1 this year, you must give this form to your math teacher who will fill in the box with your Orleans Hanna test score and your for first semester grade. This will determine which of the advanced math courses you may enroll in. Remember that the requirements for each of the advanced courses, Advanced Pre-Algebra, Algebra 1 AP Emphasis, and Geometry AP Emphasis are found in your course offering booklet. If you qualify for one of the advanced math courses, you and your parent must also sign the course agreement on the back of this form. If you find that you don't have the score you need to qualify for the advanced math course that you want, we will have a second chance for you to take a qualifying test at the eighth grade later this spring. We will bring the registration forms for that test with us when we come at the end of the month you will be able to pick one up at that time or from your math teacher. Now look at this note which says, students who score at a fifth grade equivalency or below on a math or reading proficiency exam given prior to enrolling at the eighth grade center 
may be placed in a math and or reading lab class. The proficiency exam refers to the state OCCT math and reading exams you will take in April of this year. Please do your very best on these tests. Otherwise, you may find that instead of getting the elective classes you select on this form, you may end up with the lab classes on your schedule instead. Let's take a look at our elective classes. Notice that the enrollment form indicates that you have two options, to choose two year-long classes or one year-long and two semester classes. You may not choose four semester classes. Before checking your choices, review the descriptions in the course offering booklet to make certain that it is a course you will like and to learn if there are any requirements you must meet, like filling out an application. The courses marked with the asterisk or star means that you must get approval from the teacher or coach by asking the appropriate teacher or coach to sign your form next to the name of the course. We only show two sports on this form, football and wrestling, because all other sports require you to try out first and be selected for the team before you can enroll. If you know that you're going to try out for a sport or if you are selected for the Carrera program, please write down which elective choice you want us to drop so that we can add the sport or other class to your schedule. For example, if you check French and Fundamentals of Technology and know that you will be trying out for basketball in May, write down the course you want us to drop. Will it be French or Fundamentals of Technology so that we can add basketball to your schedule if you make the team? In case the electives that you want are full or not available, please write down two more elective courses that you would like to take so that we can place you in another class that you will like. Otherwise, we will have to make that choice for you, and it may not be what you would like at all. Lastly, make certain that you and your parents sign the bottom of this form. If it is not signed, we will have to give it back to you to take home to get your parents' signature before you can enroll in the computer lab. This is our way of knowing that your parent has seen the form and approves your class selections. I look forward to meeting you when you and your parents come to the 8th Grade Center on March 5th at 6.30 p.m. to find out more about your 8th grade year. Mrs. Haddon and I also look forward to being at the 7th grade the last week of March to help you enroll in the computer lab. Thank you for your time.